the Beach Life Branch Festival. Alex Curry here with Chris Shiflett. Many of you may know him from the Foo Fighters, but he is also a big country star, as we saw here today. <laughs> a big country star. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I mean, you were playing a big stage here at Beach Life Branch. I know. When did you fall in love with country? Talk us through this project. I mean, you know, I always kind of like twangy, like old rockabilly music and stuff like that. Yeah. But it was really when I used to be in this band called No Use for a Name, like oh, uh, I know, when, when, like in the in the yeah. mid '90s. And the singer for for No Use, uh, Tony Sly, um, was really into like all the alt country stuff, and he kind of turned me on all that. And it's just I just from there just kind of kept kept peeling it back, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, between that, the Me First and the Gimme Gimmies, you are a man of many bands. Too many bands, you might say. So many. I would never say too many. Yeah. Well, it's good. I like We're, playing a lot, and it's you know I just like you know never want for playing. Yeah, but there's so many different genres, vibes, sounds yeah. of music. Did you grow up on that? Did you just have a big array of music? No, I mean when we were, I, you know, I was lucky. I had older brothers when I was a kid. Okay. I mean, I have older brothers. Yeah. And my older brothers, by the time I was like, by as early as as young as I can remember, my brothers were into, um, they had great record collections and were into rock and roll music. You know, so it was yeah. like, you know, you're talking like the '70s, so it was like Stones and Beatles and and uh, Led Zeppelin and Deep yeah. Purple and Black Sabbath. I, I, we we grew up on rock music in my house. You know. Pretty much all rock music. I love it. So you yeah. got like the rock, you got the punk, you got the country. You, yeah. you basically yeah. hit every single yeah. genre of music. Well, it's funny. Like when I was a kid, I was so opinionated and really okay. hardline. Like it had yeah. to fit. Like you know, it had to be these very sort of narrow parameters. Yeah. And then something happens when you, you know, I don't know, like probably around the time I turned like 18 or 19 years old or something, where where I just all of a sudden like it was like the sort of, everything appealed to me. You know, yeah. I just like all the music. I love that. Yeah. And you've played almost every kind of concert venue, crowd size, from like the biggest of stadiums sure. to stages to bars. Yeah, yeah. What is it like connecting, no matter what kind of music you're playing, with these fans and just having this universal love of music? Yeah, it's really funny, man. Uh, man, man, I'm sorry. That's all right. You can call me man. <laughs> um, it is funny. It's so different at, at, at every kind of different um level yeah and and you know like for like a Foo Fighters show yeah. it's a very different experience because you're playing to a crowd full of people that love our band and know yeah. all our songs and, and come and they want to sing along and it's so different playing like a, a venue like this because you know it's like you're playing people that you, you're a little lower on the festival yeah and to a bunch of people that maybe don't have never heard your music before yeah. so you're trying to win them over yeah and you're just kind of and it, plus I'm like the singer so I'm just like standing there kind of like looking out you can't like hide in the back playing <laughs> yeah. guitar so you're just looking out at the crowd the whole time and watching and seeing kind of every and you're seeing the people that are like dancing and yeah and, and, and yeah. you're seeing a couple people singing but then you're seeing people like looking at their phone you know what I mean? And then you yeah. see people like sitting down, like you just see all the different reactions. And, and it's you can like, actually see them. And you can see them, yeah. <laughs> so you know, yeah. you're trying to like, don't look at the guy that's not having a good time. Look yeah. at the guy over here that's having a good, that's into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're just kind of like playing little mental games the whole time. Is it fun for you though, to go from like those stadium crazy, everyone singing along to every single word to moments like that where you're trying to win over fans? Oh yeah. No, it's, 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 that's kind of the blast of the whole thing. It's just a rush. Cause you never know what it's going to be. And sometimes yeah. Sometimes it's great and sometimes it's not and like you know I mean the show like today was it's like a built-in crowd that like just wants to have a good time and so yeah. they're like they're you know they're, it's, they make it easy on you. Music does something magical to people whether you're on the highest of high the lowest of low and it's been a very emotional summer for you and yeah. the band how have you seen music bring people together and honor Taylor? I mean you know that like obviously it's been a really really tough year yeah um, and uh and and to see the crowd and the and the world's reaction to the show we did the other week at um at uh Wembley was really beautiful like really really beautiful you know just kind of not like you need reminding but it's a little yeah. reminder that you know how much everybody loved him you know yeah yeah so and love music thing. bringing yeah. it together and then doing it again here in a couple weeks yeah in LA yeah 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 we've been getting ready for it so yeah it's uh it's um, you know, it's tough for yeah. sure. It's it's emotional, and you know, you if you're during the show, you're kind of got a lot of different things going through your head. But it's uh, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Yeah. And speaking of honoring tonight, you're going to be a part of the Shooter Jennings honoring his dad, Waylon Jennings. Yeah. All the special guests 
coming up on stage. Yeah. What was your reaction when he told you he was doing this? Oh, I was stoked to get to be involved. I mean, you know, obviously, I love Waylon Jennings, you know, yeah. and, and to get to go up and, and sing one of his songs, especially with Mike and the Moon Pies backing us up. So like, cool. and I, just, I just actually walked over and, and ran it with them, r ran it a couple times really? with them. Yeah, because, you know, we didn't, we're not like, it's not like a well rehearsed thing. They're yes. well rehearsed, but yes. like, you know, we're just jumping in and yeah. throwing it together. So just to hear, the, like, they're such a great band and they just, they know that music so well. And, um, yeah, I think it's going to be really, really fun. It's also kind of the magic of a festival, the buffet of yeah. musicians that you yeah. have all around. And you're getting it all in one performance, everyone coming up on the stage in that moment. Well, you know what's funny about about the thing? Because it was like, you know, it's billed as like, you know, the tribute to Waylon Jennings, yes. but it says Waylon Jennings really big. I can't tell you how many people like text me like, no way, dude, you're playing with Waylon Jennings. <laughs> like, well, <laughs> not quite. That would be hard. That would be very yeah, difficult. Yeah, but we are playing his songs. Yeah. Yeah. Did you listen to him growing up? Was that a part of the whole eclectic music collection you had? No, I mean, I really didn't know country music growing up, but it's funny, like, you know, like... Wait, I love that. And you're playing a country music festival. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I was like a, listening to heavy metal music when yeah. I was a kid, but I was also a Dukes of Hazzard fan. And, you yep. know, that's him playing at the beginning. His, yep. That's his theme song. So it's like, and, you know, so many of his songs. You sort of realize after the fact how many of his songs yeah. you actually knew. All of them. Because it's just yeah. part of the, you know, culture. Um, and you hear them and, and even even when like it was a funny thing like when I finally did start listening to country when I was a little bit older like yeah. so much of the music you just realized was kind of always around you yeah anyway you know and there's such a unique vibe to it where everyone just wants to have a good time everyone wants to get up and start dancing there, there's oh, something yeah. a little different about country yeah yeah it's a real like I mean I've played uh, Coachella festival and I've yeah. played stagecoach yeah stagecoach very different animal yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a whole different thing. It's a little more of a party vibe party when you play vibe. the country festival. Exactly. For sure. And that's what we're looking for here today, Beach yeah. Life Fest. doesn't get much better than this. Like, no, right nice. on the water, I'm right on the sand. Yeah. We can't wait to see you take this, this is stage. Like, this is like, you know, this is like, uh, for me, this is like these two worlds colliding. Because I grew up in, in Southern California and I grew up at the beach. And yeah. the, the, the ocean is such a massive part of, of my life, my family's life, my friend's life. And then to have that combined with with uh, with all this country music out here today, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, LA's been needing a beach festival for a long time. Born and raised here, a little biased as well, yeah, but yeah, yeah. just, this is it. We yeah. did it. Yeah, and yeah. you did it. And yes. you're here bringing all the worlds yes. together. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Right on. Thanks for having me. Can't wait to see you take the stage. Yeah. And thank you guys for watching Beach Life Branch Festival Day 2. We'll see you soon.